Indian philosophy also from this one. Chair, inanimate matter, plus life is plant. Plus consciousness is animal. I, I. Plus awareness, discrimination is man. Man whereas is God. There is a Sufi statement made in Buddha written by Sufi mystics. I died as a rock, became a plant. I died as a plant, I became an animal. I died as an animal, I became man. I will die as a man, become God. Obviously, I am not Buddhist. So I am Buddhist. I am a rock, be a man, and I am not a Buddhist man. That's what the Sufi mystics say. So you should always say, I am progressive. Never say I am a fortunate, I am a sinner, I am particular, I am condemned, I am guilty, you should not feel like it. We go from, as I said yesterday, lower truth to higher truth. We don't go from error to truth. We go from lower truth to higher truth. So that self esteem should go. If you have no esteem for yourself, why others have esteem for you? You have no esteem for yourself. How can you have no esteem? If you have good esteem for yourself, your children will adore you. Your wife will adore you, your husband will adore you. Alright? So develop self-esteem by thinking whatever is gone is gone. I will make my future in the blessings of God. And I will achieve this through prayer, through Nishkama Karma, meaning desire of action of the Lord Gita. Don't look at Bhagavad Gita as a religious text. Never look at it. It's a socio-psychological text. Bhagavad Gita is a social, psychological, philosophical text. It has nothing to do with In the sense, Rama, Krishna, Mohammed, Jesus, don't take it that way. War and Hastings, if I have not told you that, I'll tell you now. Government, did I mention? No. War and Hastings, government from India. God, Bhagavad Gita translated into English. God had printed it at government expense. Government of India paid for this. It distributed all over the world. And he wrote a forward for it. Long after Britain ceases to be a country or empire, Bhagavad Gita will illumine the world. Written by Warren Hastings. And he was accused as a student. I had given the lecture with Edmund Burke accused Warren Hastings. He was finally acquitted. It's a great historical speech of Edmund Burke. As a student, you are asked to recite Mark Antony's speech. And Edmund Burke's speech are considered to be the most profound speeches in Western history. And Indian read Vivekananda's speeches or Ramakrita's speeches. I suggested Jagdish talk. Jagdish now, every day class will start with one page of reading in the class. That one page will be <coughs> Vivekananda's appeal to the youth. Vivekananda's explanation of socialism. Vivekananda's explanation of what is called death or Ramachandra and so on. I don't mind anyone reading. There are Western books also. You can read from them. Let the classes start with the reading of one text. Exactly three minutes only should be spent. Every student should read. So today you will read, tomorrow he will read, they have one third man will read, fourth man another man will read. First of all, engineers lack articulation. We don't have language facility. Because engineering being a one dimension subject where we cannot have articulated like a marketing man. Imagine a marketing man, a management man, he has got articulation. But engineers lack like that. Generally speaking, there are some engineers who can do But when they become getting experience, they could develop articulation in the class. You don't Winston Churchill. 
such 
practice has been going on for the dawn of civilization. Now, for 10,000 to 100,000 years, the practice was such that it did not do much harm. Because how much you can eat, how much animals you can eat, how many animals you can kill, one arrow, whole day if you go, you can only kill one deer or one rabbit. Now, man, because of technology, because of science, because of this inherent need for greed, the destructive power has gone up million times. For old days, one gun, one bullet, one man does in a war. Today with the atom bomb, 50,000 people die. Now that's what Pearson has written, that America has got enough wars to kill the world hundred times. The whole world can be annihilated hundred times. The destructive power has gone so much against nature, against animals, against fellow men. Draw a doctor, which is the instrument science discovered truth. Technology found out an application. Engineers designed the machines and processes to apply the technology based on a science. And managers uh, found out a way by which this knowledge with resources, all kinds of resources, utilized. So, this is sequence is there. Science discovers truth. Technology finds an application for truth, not fact, or sound. Engineers design machines and processes and the tools and equipments. Managers assemble all this to produce good things and to do wrong things. That is why the management content for engineering is a great must. Also, all managers should learn ethics and morals also. Managers are doing the maximum harm to society. At one end, they create abundance in the world. Make the whole world one. And there's a book called Breakthrough. I've been talking about the book of the future <coughs> shock. Future shock. I've been talking about three four books. One is called Future Shock. He has also written a book called Breakthrough. In the next 15 years, what all things are going to happen to you? Mr. Writer of this book? Are you talking about it? So, what is going to happen? Everything will be mechanized. Newspapers for people. <coughs> Banking will be through the computer. Purchasing will be through the computer. The whole thing is going to be computer. Man will become an adjunctive machine. It's a machine becoming an adjunctive man. Man will become an adjunctive machine. Get in your nose time. If I were young today, I would have a lot of hair. There are methods by which hair can be produced. They are predicted for it. You can have child, the kind of child you want. A brainy child, a creative child, or you can have a tall child. But it's possible. So technology is going to change <coughs> the world. Who is going to change it? The manager. Don't be manager general manager, assistant manager, deputy manager, chief manager, don't think like that. Everybody is a manager. Take it from me and the dean should also know. Everybody is a manager. The wife is a manager, the husband is a manager, the bearer is a manager, the clerk is a manager. Manager in the sense there is a management component there.
is to plan the cooking. She has to plan a guest when he comes, what to be done. That's a management company of the Khasi. So like that, if you take, don't think management as management institutes in the West are teaching. They are teaching a group of people, given a target, how to meet a group, make a group of people, accomplish what you want through planning, organizing, motivating, directing, controlling others. That's the definition of management in most books. I am saying all of us are managers in something or other, which I will see later on. So, in this now, nature is destroyed. I have already spoken twice, I will not repeat. Animals are destroyed. I have brought one photograph to show you how animals are being killed in India. You can see it during lunch time. Third, man versus man. All of this is because, according to me, according to many scholars, according to many spirituals, according to Jesus, according to Buddha, according to Mahavira, everybody, man is in conflict with his own self. The witness within, the jiva within, the consciousness within, the divinity within, the kingdom of God is within you, the divinity within, or the insa Allah within, tells you don't do this, but you do. Don't do that. So if this is settled, our relationship with God is settled, either through bhakti or through acting as his instrument, or surrendering as in Islam. Thy will will be done, Jesus said. Know thyself. If that is done, the other three battles will come down. Did you get the theory? So my theory says, let us all become spiritual people as per our tradition. If you are a Sikh, go by your tradition. Go by your If you are a Hindu, go by your tradition. If you are a Hindu. But, Whatever be the tradition should not be against science, rationality, logic, reasoning. Science without religion, religion without science is wrong. So only those, therefore Buddha said, be a lamp unto yourself. Remember that great word of Buddha. Don't trust the Vedas. That's why he came into conflict with all the Hindus. Don't trust the Vedas. Whatever you see, experience is to be followed. That's called darshana. Darshana means what I see. And therefore don't blind believe you should not have. You should be always logical, reasoning. So whatever I say today, you should have shravana. Then you should recall it, smarana. Then manana, argue, will write or wrong. If you think it is right, nirityasana, meaning contemplate on it, assimilate it, internalize it. There are four steps to learn. Shravana, Smarana, Manana, Nirityasana. Nirityasana means internalize it, assimilate it, coming to terms with it, understanding, comprehending. It is called Nirityasana. Teachers will become as agents of society or agents of parents, agents of God. Think something of this kind in your mind. I'm doing that's why Christians, 50, 60,000 missions are there in India. They are in Northeast, Nagaland, Tripura, Ganges <coughs> of Africa, they are converting people. Why they feel they are doing the right thing? They feel they are doing the right thing. Why? They say, by making that man a Christian, he will go to heaven. Yes, think like that. And therefore, the jungles of Africa, or the tribal areas of uh, Nagaland, <coughs> are sacred to Muslims. Idol, they believe that idols are wrong. Idolatry is wrong. So with great passion, right from the time Muhammad left, they all took his into interpreted his teaching in a particular way to jahat, kill all the idolaters. That's why the intensity of religion is so high that they prepare to die for their religion. They prepare to die for their religion. So I'm not going to come into controversy about each religion. All of us should understand
certain orderliness. And therefore, a man, there is an interval in the movement in all cities. Dr. Karan Singh is the president. There are books on interreligious harmony. The man does book is comparative religion for <coughs> the Gwandas. The Gwandas, great man. The Gwandas, Sri Pratasha's father, the governor, Sri Pratasha's father. There is a great volume showing that all most religions and most parts of all religions are the same. It's a great work, the Bhagavadas. Now, there's a man called Trahan, T-R-E-H-A, a big industrialist of Delhi. He is the chairman of the Interreligious Company Movement. Try to understand all religions. Very necessary. Because they are in a plural society. For which small books are available, 20 page books. What Guru Nanak said, what Buddha said, what Mahavira said, what Lao Tse said, what Chantu said. All right. So this way to expand your horizons. So that the last part is the spirituality or divinity of man is realized, you will find other things will come into play. That is why Einstein said, Bertrand Russell said, Bernard Russell said, increase in knowledge and skills without corresponding increase in wisdom is a disaster for you, me, and the world. Next time. It was no problem 200 years ago, where engineers have nothing much to do. Today, engineers are 90% of all life is engineering. Everything is engineering. Engineering meaning engineering related products and services. Therefore, a great deal of good can come, a great deal of harm also can come. Media. TV is a greatest magic. You are the man. But are we using it properly? We are misusing it. If you use it properly, that means you make man a better man. What is the test? Whatever I teach, whatever I decide, should be for the uplifting of man. What is the test? Will this man, will that to me, what I do, improve or degrade man? That is a test of what all we do. Gandhiji said beautifully, every time you take a decision, you should check. Will this have the largest number of people needing it? Will my work, will my idea, will my policy, will my project help the largest number of people needing it? I don't teach anything without practicing. So when I became a professor in Bombay University, 40 years ago or 42 years ago, first thing I did was that municipality you know, the team, your name again? Nimbus. <coughs> Nimbus. Remember saying, I did not teach marketing, finance and so on. I improved the municipality. Municipality said, we have no money. So I collected money from the private sector. 2 lakhs of rupees a year. Talk the municipal. What was the plan? Sewage system, road maintenance, electricity, schools, hospitals. The deans, everybody, including Dinadan Patwatan, was ICS officer. So comes, why? If water is bad, I'm affected. The power doesn't come, I'm affected. If the streets are not clean, I'm affected. The garbage is not removed. People are affected. The faith of the people in government depends on how well the government delivers the essential needs of society. My office was opposite to Hindustan Diva, ICIC. Next was Tata Barla. Third building was Tata's. They all told me, what professor you are teaching all this? I told them, if Bombay city improves, you are the beneficiary. Is it not true? Hindustan Euro selling soap, cosmetics, etc. etc. If Hindustan Euro closes down, I told them, nothing will happen to Bombay. But if the power doesn't come, if the meat is not clean, 
The vegetables are dirty. Ready? Therefore, I decided my projects of Bajaj Institute will be, my contribution will be largest number of people will benefit. If people become unhappy with the government, they'll be chaos. If the government collapses tomorrow, my dear friends, government collapses. Everybody criticizes the government, don't you? Don't all of us criticize the government? Sir, we do. Suppose the government is not there tomorrow. Suppose government collapses, you could continue as critics. Who will lose? You will lose. lose. All of us will lose. The 300 million, oh, eight, 600 million people of India will not lose. The theory of government is government should protect the weak from the onslaught of the rich and the mighty. Why that? What government is doing is protecting the rich from the anger. What is the theory? In Soviet Union, when government was collapsed, the people took over the palaces. The people took your car, my car, my house, your house, everything to take over by the people. So today, if some hundred people come and take over this building, the police will come and push you on. And therefore, why criticism of the government is the right thing to do? Constructive criticism is the right thing to do. Condemning a government, we are condemning our own protectors. True or not true? Therefore, I said, if you don't want a revolution to become free, yet, transport should improve, railway should improve. So a friend of mine, Ashwani Lohani, has become a member of the railway, a senior man. <coughs> I spent a whole evening with him. How to improve the railways? To unite the country. Because your Sardarji, like I was saying, if his sister is in Gauhati, for her marriage he will go. But there is no way to go. No time. Our poor people want to go to Vaishnava Devi temple. No time, no time. So, I am trying to say management principles. We should look at in such a way, maximum number of people. So when I started, I when I Harvard, Leeds University, Manchester, they all condemned me. Why are you teaching Buddha cutting food? Why are you teaching software improvement? What does it do with management? Even today, my dear friends, 820 management institutes in this country are only teaching business industry. The real thing is government should improve. Transport should improve. Electricity board should improve. Municipality should improve. Ganga should become clean. Road should become safe. Who is should improve? I was the advisor to the home ministry for police training and introduced. Training of police officers was started by me in India. So I did not go and teach marketing, finance, a merger, acquisition. I'm not even sure. Others do. I'm not going to go with them. But I will not do that. Alright? So it was principle. Today, engineering and management. Engineering and management. Bush, if his management principles of ethics and morals were there, he would not have done what he did. Hitler would not have done what he did. Yeah, we close this portion. Remember, we are responsible. Once in Stanford University, asked, asked for a comfort dinner. And the celebration was, for what you know, they had discovered an acid, a substance, chemical, which will burn the skin and you can't put it up. They were using it in Vietnam. And the scientists were celebrating it. Why they celebrated it? They did not know it's going to hurt people. So all of us are responsible for good things which happen and the bad things which happen in this society, this century. And more bad things are going to happen. Where is it going to happen? There are two books, those who are interested, which every teacher should read. The Clash of Civilizations. The clash of civilization. One by hunting. Samuel hunting.
class of civilization between Hindus and the rest is called David Fraud. Between Islam and Christianity by hunting them and by frauding on Hindus and the rest of the world. The clash of civilization is the Why? Samuel hunting them. Pardon? Samuel hunting them. He has yes, des described the clash between Islam and Christianity in the world. <coughs> David Fraud has written Hinduism and Semitic religions. A clash is going to take place according to him. Why should we know that? He said, your lifetime is going to happen. I won't be here. Sir, uh, excuse me, what is the name of the second book? David Fraud is Clash of Civilizations, Hinduism and the Clash of Civilizations. The other is called the yes, Clash of Civilizations. So, So engineers are going to be the instruments for that clash. Managers are going to be the managing the clash. Engineers are going to make the tools for that clash. The destructive tools or good tools. I like it. Next slide. Are these things interesting here by mere fancy? I'm not sure. Okay, quick, let's go quickly. Word is a set of opposites. Very interesting to know. You know it, what I have for you. Everything that I have been saying is what you know, nothing new. But I am going to bring it out of here in a context. You must have noticed that I don't teach anything that you don't know. The whole world is a theory of opposites. In Sanskrit it is called Dvandva theory. Theory of Dvandva. Good, bad. Angel, devil. Okay? Beautiful, ugly. Clean, dirty. Tall, sharp. Tell me something honest, dishonest. Truth, light. White, black. Light, darkness. The whole world is a set of boxes. You should realize that. You cannot have a good without the other side. It is inevitable. For which there are stories in the Hindu tales. And let me proceed. Darkness, darkness went to God. Oh Lord, please help me. What is wrong? I think I have no rest. Wherever I am, this light comes and removes me. Wherever I want rest, this sort of and removes you from death, expels you from death. Is that right? Lord or light? Look at her. Why are you removing this darkness? So light asked, What is darkness? I am not seeing. The Lord show me where is darkness. Wherever I go, there is no darkness. I am not seeing. <coughs> So, 
if you are angry, jealous, if you shout, if you have jealousy, envy, a prejudice, a hatred, etc. It's like the mind, that will affect the body. So many billion cells will go. Other way around also. If you fall, this is called the chetra. Why should you look after the body? It is a chetra of the divinity within. The chetra, jnana, is the divinity within. This body is a chetra. So you should look after it like a sacred thing. A body you should look after it as a sacred thing. Theoretically, even if you spend 100 crore rupees, 100 crore, you can't produce a man. Even movement, talking, seeing, touching, feeling, all that put together, needs at least 100 crores. The 3000 billion cells in the body, the neurons in the brain, just can't. And therefore, the beginning of management is manage your body. If the body is in a good condition, mind is in a good condition. And vice versa. What is mind? A flow of thoughts. One idea of mind is a flow of thoughts. Like a river. The mind will always flow. What is called? Objects, events, products, scenery, Anything has no capacity to give us pressure or pain. Have you thought about that? Certainly. Transactions, I mentioned yesterday, 50,000 people died in this body of ours. In Noida, we are all worried. Many others are not worried. So, everything is in the mind. Whatever happens is in the mind, not in the object. Man means mind. I mentioned yesterday, it came from the word Manu, became Manus, became Manushya, became man, became mind. From the word called Manu. Alright, next slide. Remember that objects, <coughs> some <coughs> like cricket, I mentioned, some don't like it. some like me, some don't like me. some like naughty music, some like something. Like some like, music. Right. Some like a particular kind of game, others don't like it. In Spain, our festival, like our Diwali, festival of lights and so on, is torturing animals to death. Is their favorite game, annual festival. In Nagaland, chasing pigs and beating them to death is their game. Buffalo sacrifice, goat sacrifice is their game. So what looks to you repugnant, they eat snakes in China. Looks repugnant. It's okay. This morning when it is a Ganavati temple. Ganavati gives a great deal of spiritual joy to me. It's not due to a Muslim, it's not due to a Christian. It's not due to an American. So everything is the mind. Right? So man means mind. The way your mind is conditioned. Yes. Mind is conditioned. Very correct. Mind has got four, 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 four parts. There are many ways of describing the mind. One is chitta, memory. Second is feelings of love, affection, hatred, dislike, prejudice, and so on. Devotion. Third is determination. That's what you are concerned here. You are determined. Willpower. Fourth part is called Ahankara in Sanskrit. For ego, man, I, 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 a Kartrutta hmm? is what's called four parts of the mind. So it is a great instrument to have four basics. You can only realize God through it, mind. Everything can be done through the mind. Next slide. The subconscious mind, very easy. Conscious mind, <coughs> Un unconscious, subconscious, conscious, superconscious. At a window, the superconscious, you, if you transcend consciousness and go superconsciousness, the further we go, 
good and bad, like in the Athens we go. That's what Vivekananda, when you touch Ramakrishna, the whole Dwarva went away. Similarly, Ramana Maharshi, when they came to operate him, he said, there is no one you could eat for anesthesia. I am not the body, you can do, take what you like. They offered for him without anesthesia. Why? He said, I am not the body. But he was able to separate, you and me cannot do that. Therefore, their mind is a flow of thoughts. Worry <coughs> all the time, worry over the past actions, dreaming of the future. And there are so many books on mind. In Indian and foreign, even foreigners are written based on India, and you know, thoughts are there, young, fuel, and so on and so on. Next slide. Mind is matter, I feel that. Mind is a friend or enemy. You make mind our friend. You make your mind enemy. Mind is like a mad monkey, bitten by a scorpion, possessed by a devil. You shall take a liquor and flow of thoughts. Yesterday I mentioned also, and I was talking, everybody was looking at something. Even in Jaipur I found. Everybody looked that way. The door only opened, nothing very attractive there. Control of the mind, regulating the mind, management of the mind. If that is done, management is done. Next slide. Mind has to be controlled through meditation, yoga, proper exercise. Enemies of mind are, in Indian tradition, we call Kama, Krodha, Madha, Moha, Loka, Mapsari. We have heard about it, we will spend time. Next slide. Next is called. By repeating anything, a good habit, if it is repeated, by practice, it becomes part of progress in nature. Some people are always smile, some people are always happy, some people are always sad, some people are always joyous, or by repetition. Vijayananda in his book on reincarnation has proved how a dog knows how to sense. How does a cow know how to eat, what to eat, how old to sleep? And you give tiger ice cream, it knows. I think it was in Jaipur, I purchased there. They gave me a bouquet. So in the train, why take a bouquet? So I gave it to a cup. The cup did not touch the flower. It only touched the green part of the flower. You can very So, even a cow, how did it learn? How does it not? It's through repetition. What is this relevance of saying in the class? If you want any abhyasa, if you want any good habit to come, you should practice. There's no sadhana, abhyasa, through the continuous repetition. Somebody here said that I'm making my fourth habit. Others will say, how oh, can you have 430? How can we do that? But practice. When I was in Haridwa, Dr. S.P. Mishra talked about 330. When we had a dip in the Ganges. But he said, Pavitra day, because of Maharaja Naranthi day, and saw his her sister off, his sister off. Both of them had dip in the Ganges 3.30 in the morning. And we were both of us sitting there, hundreds and hundreds were dipping themselves, four degree temperature. How did they get there? Practice. In Himalayas, you find people sitting without any dress. And therefore, by disciplining the mind, we can practice managing the mind. So, mind is the key for all what you are teaching. Next time. We are not. Don't get the impression, there's an impression in India, many of uh, the Indian philosophy, religion, etc., etc., are all against wealth. We are not against wealth. I mentioned yesterday, I will not repeat. Kama, Dharma, Moksha. The word of Dharma is the only key word which I would like to talk. Dharma means right things to do, proper things to do. Through Dharma, 
boys and girls in colleges and schools start getting into the home life and they have having a relationship. So everything if you do is a relationship. So <coughs> management of a country, engineers are not taking interest. 